Okay, this next song is a song titled Me No World. And I picked up, um, let's see, the first time I ever heard this song was Eric Clapton and Dwayne Amon doing a version of this, an acoustic version of this. And I first heard it on um, Eric Clapton's Crossroads four disc CD set that came out probably in the early 90s, uh, late 80s, something like that. So, um, and I took it and I thought, I heard this kind of Zeppelin groove to it. I could really hear this being done in a band. Um, but I've done it both electric and acoustic, you know, throughout the years uh, on, you know, on both. So I'm going to show you just a stripped down version of how this song goes. Now it's a three chord, uh, one, four, five, three chord song. Uh, it's 12 bar blues. I do it in the key of G and, uh, and it also has a riff that's right from the minor, G minor pentatonic that is uh, repetitive in the song. So it kicks off with the riff. of that riff woven throughout the verse and then after that it's just straight you know chords um, when I come into the second half of the song I'll do a verse where I sing and go <laughs> for the rhythmic groove of this song um, and then play in the chord and don't push anything down and then push it down so just sit and do that so that is woven in through 
throughout the whole song and it makes it move. Uh, when I'm on stage with a band, the drums really carry that, but I'm doing the exact same thing when I play it either on the electric or the acoustic. You just hear it more and it stands out more, that thud of me hitting my strings. It's very percussive on the acoustic guitar and it might be something that you uh, would miss if you heard an electric version of me doing that. So that's one thing. Then when I play the riff, for one thing, the song is in the key of G. So here's a G minor pentatonic, expanded. So. my pick and my middle finger to play this. Pick, middle finger, pick, middle finger, and then middle finger, middle finger, middle finger. I pull this off and slide down. I play it, pull it off, and slide down. It's about giving it texture, okay? There's a big difference between making a smiley face and painting someone's face. Uh, playing your scales, basic, expanded, with triplets, all that's great. But once you start getting to that 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 10,000, you know, times around point, then you can start really kind of uh, breathing some life into this. Or out of boredom, life gets breathed into this. So really you want to learn how to do these things so much that you're just bored. And in that boredom, magic can begin to happen, okay? Uh, you've got a certain com comfort level that you can begin to uh, experiment from, okay? So, that's the riff. And uh, notice I'm sliding in and out of many of these song, uh, many of these chords. G flat, G. That would be, a, I was going to say C flat, a B to C. gives texture, uh, accent, groove. Uh, I, I, I do that a lot with my right hand. Combination of pick and middle finger. Sometimes I'll put my uh, pick between these two fingers and use my thumb. Sometimes I use these two fingers together, my ring finger and my middle finger. carry it around with you everywhere. Don't set it down. Just take it. Because you need to get comfortable holding on to one. And uh, you need to be able to put it somewhere so you can do stuff if you need your thumb. And so just get comfortable with having a pick in your hands. Uh, and then the uh, third way that I play the verse... Uh, 
You've got a root six down here. You've got a root five up here. on my uh, YouTube website. So take a look at it and you'll see how I'm doing it. Uh, listen to uh, Dwayne Amon and um, uh, Eric Clapton. And uh, wow, it's slide very different than the way that I do it, but it's incredible. It's incredible. So, you know, there, there's a lot of versions out there of Mino World, lots of lyrics. I've heard, oh, there's Mino World. I'll listen to it. It's like, yeah, it's the same song. Kinda, you know, so I guess a lot of people have had a mean world that they faced. So, uh, good blues topic. Good luck. <laughs> 